Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and today I am on the Outer Worlds. I am really enjoying this game. I know that some of you guys are recommending it to me, and I gotta say, I am loving it. Definitely, I would recommend it to anyone who's thinking about checking it out. Check it out. It's a great game. But I did want to show you guys how to do an item duplication glitch in this game, and it's absolutely amazing. It actually will make you, like, pretty overpowered. I'm gonna be honest. Because there's a lot of things you can do with this duplication glitch. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have a bunch of these shotguns. What I'm doing with these is I'm selling them. They have a sell value of 750. And that's pretty good. Normally when you sell, your skills are going to affect it. Like your speech skills. So whichever one is the highest one, that's what it's going to be based off of. So I'm going to get more money for this when I actually go to sell it. But I'm going to show you how to do the glitch. And also talk about how you can really exploit this. Now besides the fact that you can duplicate weapons, you can also do armors, consumables, mods. There's a lot of stuff you can do. So if you want to make copies of weapons or armors to give to your allies, you could do that. If you want to get a lot of consumables of certain ones that are really good and really overpowered, you can also do that. And if you want to make a lot of money, this is your best bet. Now you might be wondering, why is money so important in this game? Well, they have a system in here that is called tinkering. So what you can do is you can actually upgrade your weapons. And by doing that, it's going to upgrade the level. So if you get a really good, unique weapon early on that might be like level 10, and then you progress through the game, that weapon's not going to be so good later on. But if you tinker it up, you can actually increase the level to actually match your own. And with tinkering, you can actually go five levels ahead of where you currently are so if you're doing that throughout your entire playthrough with your armor and your weapons it's going to make you extremely overpowered and it will definitely help you out because this game can be hard at times especially if you're playing on the higher difficulties so this trick is amazing for that tinkering is going to cost you a lot of money in this game if you want to do it because every time you do it it's going to double in price and it starts to get outrageous even if you invest a bunch of skill points into science which will affect tinkering and lower the cost it still would be extremely expensive so you're gonna need a lot of money if you want to tinker a lot especially with all of the different unique weapons and stuff because sometimes you're gonna get these things at like level five and they can be very good if you tinker those weapons up but i do want to talk about ways that you can actually Take advantage of this early on because one of the problems is when you start the game, most items are not going to be worth a lot of money. So that's a problem. But if you can get your hands on some mods, the mods are actually worth a little bit of money. There are certain mods that are worth like 250. You can see it right here. And there's some that are worth like 500. So those are probably your best mods. There we go. That's one that's worth 500. So if you want to duplicate these mods, these are a great way of making money. But there's actually another thing that you can go and get, which is actually going to be in the very first area. And I'm going to actually be using this first area to do the glitch. In fact, this is your best place to do it. But there is a unique weapon in this first area. It's called Old Reliable. It's a heavy machine gun. And you get it from this area. It's the Primal Nest. Now this place is a little bit tough early in the game, especially if you're playing on like hard mode. This is kind of tough, but if you can clear this area, you can go and retrieve the weapon. It's worth like 250, but it's better than nothing. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how this works. Like I said, you can do this with a bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop a mod. So to do this, I have to hit triangle and then I have to find drop, drop that on the ground. And I'm also going to drop a consumable because this is also very, very good with consumables. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this. And there we go. We're going to drop all 14 of these. And now I'm going to drop an armor as well because this is a really good helmet and I want to give it to an ally. So I'm going to drop that. And also I am going to drop one of these weapons. Now, the key to this is that you want to find a spot that's a little bit off the ground. Here in Edgewater, there is a spot that's right here to the left. This is where you spawn in, right here, whenever you fast travel. So, this is perfect. Right to the left, we can drop all this stuff. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to Edgewater. 
All right, so now if I come over here, I'm just going to pick this stuff up. You don't need to do anything else at this point, but we are going to fast travel again. And you do have to hit like R2. And by the way, this works on like every platform, so it doesn't really matter. But you do need to actually select the map and then you have to find the fast travel to Edgewater. So on PlayStation, you hit R2 to do that. And now it's going to load again. And when I come back, I already picked them up. But when I come back, all those items should be respawned. They should be there again. And that's crazy. So this is really, really good. Now, if you want to make a lot of money, because really, if you really want to take advantage of this and make this amazing, you do actually want to try to get a lot of money. That way you can tinker, okay? Because that's like the biggest thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is that there's a general store here in town. Okay, so it's right there. That's where we're going to be selling our items. So we are going to go ahead and build up a bunch of these shotguns. Now, in fact, when I'm building these up, I'm actually going to do it over here. Now, I can actually fast travel while I'm over encumbered. That's going to happen as you're doing this. So there is a perk that allows you to fast travel. But another way you can go ahead and do it is just save your game and then load it. The main purpose here is that you have to get a loading screen. If you get a loading screen, you're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop every single one of these shotguns on the ground, okay? And then I'm going to do the glitch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build these up. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch in my inventory. I'm talking about a bunch all at once. That way I can go ahead and drop the whole lot of them. And then every time I come to pick them up, I'm going to go and sell them. I'm going to get a lot of money by doing this. So I just dropped them all on the ground, made a nice little dome there. But I'm going to do this a whole bunch of times. Now, if I want to actually double this up at any point, I can just go ahead and drop them all again. So if I have like, let's say, 33 of the shotguns in my inventory, if I drop 33, well, then I can start to do this with 33. And that's really, really nice. And eventually, if you can get like 100, then you're going to be doing it each time with 100. Now, there is a limit to this, because if you do it way too much, you're going to probably break your game. This will cause some problems in this area where the dialogue is going to be kind of buggy and you're going to get some slowdown. So understand that there is a way to fix that, though. I'm going to show that at the end of the video here. But I'm going to do this for a little while and I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of shotguns. I'm going to show you like once you have done that, then you can go ahead and actually make a ton of money. Alrighty guys, well check out this beautiful flower I made over here. Isn't it amazing? But here's the other spot. So let me show you this. There's the store and then right here across the way, you can throw down all your stuff. Now you need to stand when you do this, okay? Because that's just the way it works. But what I recommend doing and what I'm doing here is I'm going to pick all these up and then I'm going to save the game and then I'm going to load the game. This is going to take a minute to pick it all up. But by doing that, that's going to cause this to respawn because right now I'm already over encumbered and then I'm going to stack it up. I'm going to stack them all up and I'm going to hope that my game doesn't completely crash because of that, but it might. So we will see, but it's going to be a lot of shotguns. Alrighty guys, well I'm loading up my save and I just dropped a ton of shotguns on the ground. I mean, it was so many of them. It's kind of crazy. But it's not crashing my game and look at this beautiful, beautiful flower I made. But yeah, you see how this is close to the store? That way I don't have to walk all the way from over there to the store every time. I don't want to do that. But we're going to pick this up now. It's going to take a minute. And then I'm going to sell all of these shotguns. It's going to be outrageous. Your finger might actually start to hurt from just spamming the button, trying to pick up all the stuff and then trying to sell all the stuff. I actually made a copy of an arm or two, so that's what you see. Look, the flower is revealing something. Now, like I said, this is going to cause a little bit of problems for this area. So if you haven't finished this area yet, that could be a problem. But if you want to fix this, I'll show you how to fix it as well. I recommend whenever you do do this, whatever you are duping for money, try to keep at least maybe 10 copies of that item at all times. 
you can always store that away. And by the way, I didn't even mention this. Once you start this, okay, you want to get rid of everything in your weapon inventory, including your ammo. Because when you're selling this stuff, you're going to sell everything. You're not going to care. Just you want to spam the button. So you don't want to sell your ammo because you can always buy it back, but that's just annoying. So put it away, put it into a chest. You can do that on your ship. So just do that. All right, so now I'm going to sell and let's actually take a look because I'm not going to show me selling. It's going to take way too long. I have 528,000 right now. So I'm going to cut this ahead and you can see how much money I get from just selling all this. Plus, I'll show you how to fix this if you're curious, like, how do you actually undo this once you have gotten this going? Because if you save it and you load it, it's going to be there. If you close your app and you come back, it's going to be there. If you travel to another planet, potentially it might be gone. I haven't really tested that, but just to be safe, I'm going to undo it. That way it's not going to completely destroy this area every time I come through this area. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Alrighty guys, well I'm making a four leaf clover right now, but I'm doing this because I need to pick this stuff up and then I'll show you how to fix this, but I made a lot of money from just doing that the one time when I sold it, and if I wanted to I could just keep doing it and keep making like hundreds of thousands of bits each time I'm actually doing this. And I could even stack it up even higher if I really wanted to, but like I said, don't push it because when that thing spawns or you get close to it and it actually spawns in, when these guys are talking, it sounds really weird. Even right now, it sounds very strange. You can't hear it. But also, there's so much slowdown when you approach it. It's kind of crazy. So the game might crash if you go a little too overboard. But what I need to do now is I'm going to go ahead and sell, once again, most of these shotguns. But to fix it, let's say you're done. You're like, okay... I have had enough, I made a ton of money, and I want to go and do something else. But once you get to that point, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sell, but try to keep like 10 shotguns. It's a very good idea, because if you keep like 10, then you're going to be able to go ahead and just do this a lot quicker later. Because when you're duping like 10 at a time, and then you're just doubling up every single time, it's super quick to actually build it up to be like a crazy amount of shotguns or whatever it is. You can do mods, you can do armor, you can do whatever you want. But I think the weapons are probably the best just because they're the easiest. And like I said, there is one you can get really early in the game. It's called the Old Reliable. It's a heavy machine gun. You get it from that primal nest area and... It's pretty decent. And if not, if you can get lucky and actually be able to get a mod, then that would be even better. So, this is a fine amount of shotguns to keep. Now, to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply drop one of these shotguns. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, at this point, if I actually fast travel, you're going to notice it's not going to respawn. And that shotgun that's there is going to still be there. And I'm going to pick it up. So here's another deal too. When you're doing this, if you're doing it with weapons or things you might want to keep and you don't want to accidentally lose, first of all, make a backup copy of your save every single time just in case you never know. But on top of that, you might want to equip it. That's what I've done. I've equipped it. That way I can't lose it. There's no way I'm losing this thing. I have it equipped. So I'm pretty much good to go. But like I said, you want to be safe. But in the end, I mean, this is what happens, right? There's the shotgun, the pile is gone, so when I come back here later, that shotgun will probably be here, even if I leave the planet, okay? So, it might be there. If you come back later and you want to do it again, and you're trying it and it's not working, the thing is, is that you might want to look around, make sure there's nothing on the ground from earlier, because that happened to me, where I was trying to get it to work a second time, and I was like, it's not working. Then I realized, oh, there's a shotgun over there. Let me go and pick that up. And I picked it up, tried it, it worked fine. So this is amazing. Like I said, the main reason why this is so good is because tinkering is awesome. Being able to level up your weapons, you can go five levels above your own level. And that really does help a lot. But you need a lot of money to do that. So getting a 
an infinite amount of money is absolutely great. Plus, if you get some really powerful weapons or armor and you want to give those to your allies, that's amazing. If you want to duplicate mods, you can do that. And of course, consumables too. You can just get like an unlimited amount of healing or some really, really crazy buffs. There's a lot of good stuff you can do with this exploit. Alrighty guys, well that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos and also click the bell if you want to stay notified. That's very important. That's going to do it for me. I hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.